It is, whoops, please, Chris. Oh, Corey's going to start the record button and we'll start. Okay, awesome. Call the meeting to order. Uh, motion to approve the agenda, please. I'll make the motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, for you on Zoom, are you able to hear us uh, okay now? You can uh, shoot a yay or nay in the chat box if you're able to hear us. And we'll wait for confirmation before we proceed. Uh, to Jess, who's going to join us, I think, by phone line. Uh, okay, yes, everybody. Uh, sounds good. Okay, sounds good, says Chris, who's on the other end. So, Jess, are you with us this morning by telephone? We might have lost her. Having some technical difficulties in the annex, an update that uh, was supposed to have occurred earlier in the day is now keeping her from having video access. So let's see. I don't know. So we'll wait just a moment. I know we got the notice last night about additional cases. Our Positivity rate, 14 day is dropping. That's positive, that's really good. You're still extremely high. We'll get a report from Jess here, hopefully momentarily. And... Where did I see, was it Lincoln? They dropped back almost half of what they were. In Lincoln, they're about half on yeah. positive. Set on somewhere up there. Hang on. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Jess is with hey. us now. Yep, I'm here. Sorry, guys. No problem. Um, so, as of last night, we had 1,405 total cases in the county, with 1,292 of them recovered. 554 of those are inmates from Clarinda Correctional Facility. Our positivity rating is 23.5, and that has gone down substantially. We've had a total of eight deaths. What was the positivity rate again? 23 or 20? 23 and a half. 23. Yep, 23 and a half. Okay, great. Um, so the state's a little behind on things. Um, they're just trying to play catch up right now. So the numbers on the website, the Coronavirus Iowa website, do not reflect accurately for the counties. Uh, they're doing their best to get caught back up, but um, they're being inundated with contact tracing and investigating as well. So hopefully that'll be updated in the next few weeks to reflect the accurate numbers. Okay. So uh, the positivity rate is down, but again, as a reminder, that's a 14-day rate, and uh, about 16 days ago, we had a huge spike, which uh, impacted that number, correct? Yes. So what are you, uh, what recommendations do we head toward Thanksgiving? Uh, has anything changed from the Department of Public Health in regard to uh, family get-togethers or any words of wisdom from you this morning? Yep, so from a public health standpoint and CDC standpoint, they're just really pushing that social distancing. Um, they're recommending to not um, have family gatherings right now just because if you're introducing people from outside of your household, there's the chance that you that somebody's going to be a carrier of the virus since there's such substantial spread across the nation right now. So we're just really pushing that social distancing, wearing a mask, um, proper hand hygiene, and continuing to stay home when you're sick. Are you uh, looking at that uh, study from Georgia Tech University that uh, supposedly is real time uh, taking the data from all the states and uh, having a predictor of probabilities of 
virus infected folks in gatherings. Have you looked at that much? I have not. Um, if John or Alan, have you have you looked at Just that? Looked at it the first couple of days. I haven't looked at it last week. So I think to me, and if the data is good, uh, you can tell me, uh, look into it, and, and say it's you know credible or not credible based on your study, and uh, have somebody at IDPH look at it. But uh, it's pretty graphic. If you have a group of 50 people in Page County yesterday. Uh, there's a 99% probability that at least one of those 50 is infected. If it's a group of 10 in Page County yesterday, there's an 87% chance that one of those 10 is infected. Based on this predictor model, whether that's accurate or not, I don't know, but it, it certainly brings into focus how impactful community spread has been. Jess, anything else uh, you want to uh, give us this morning? Nope, that's all I have. I We're having some technical difficulties over here, so I can't really get into any of my spreadsheets or anything, so I apologize for that. Oh, no problem. So uh, just as a reminder, in the courthouse, uh, employees are staying safe behind their shields. We're asking for masks in the uh, common areas, and um, just everybody be safe and as safe as you can be. Wash those hands. Can't wash them enough. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, guys. You bet. Thanks, Jeff. All right. So, JD, you are up, sir. Good morning. A lot to be thankful for. Yes. A lot. Not much snow yet. Added at Messina. Two inches. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, Chuck, you hand me that sales sheet there. That one right there. Well, I sent the update out yesterday afternoon. She has some photographs here that are available. There's one. Excuse me. That weir's working too good, Chuck. It's making a dam. Holy cow. Blades are out. We're hauling lock with uh, five trucks today, had four yesterday. Yesterday, we also pulled a magnet at the request of the sheriff's office over the west. There was some uh, tomfoolery with a trailer and some construction stuff and Fremont was involved and got some flat tires on there on the sheriff's pickups. So we took a magnet at the request of the sheriff over there and picked up a little bit of stuff. Our pipe crew is doing the equipment maintenance this week, short week. But we are mowing with uh, with a skid steer with a brush head on it. And uh, the bat wing was mowing along at J64, which is uh, 310th Street. Although we uh, Ruined the tire yesterday afternoon, and I saw him with it with a replacement this morning. And we have some ditch cleaning projects to line up. We'll uh, reevaluate how we're doing after the Thanksgiving holiday, is where we're gonna switch over to brush or continue with pipe. Now we do have two hoes that we could do some ditch cleaning or or pipe work, even if we do have a shear on. So the, the hoe is being serviced. I heard him uh, speak on the radio this morning that another motor grader three was coming in for a service or salt. Uh, 
uh, that was ordered uh, a couple weeks ago is is in. And we have uh, our tailgate sanders and, and side mount wings are on all the trucks. Uh, last Tuesday, I, I was pleased to announce that as of the previous Friday, the Engineers Conference annual in Des Moines, which I have a small role was on. And then uh, in the afternoon, it was, it, it's gone, it's dead. There's not even, a, we, we can't run a virtual, uh, entirely virtual conference uh, with the way it was set up. We could have a, a part in real life and part virtual where the presenter would be presenting to a few people and was being filmed, but in the absence of any presenters at the conference, we're not set up to give a presentation to a camera. Anyhow, so Dad, we'll try again next year. <clears throat> so we call it cancel or postpone? It's canceled. We are doing one uh, next Friday, the 4th of December, we are have an executive board meeting, the ICA business meeting, and uh, an hour of ethics training, which is a requirement for a license. Uh, moving to, I've seen some photographs of the Weirs, site number four, for all practical purposes done. Also site number two has a little bit of dirt work to do. Although they pulled off yesterday afternoon because they were hauling bridge or haul dirt across the bridge to balance it out from side to side and, and then we get a little greasy. Uh, yeah, I think the number yep, yep, yep. The, the, the one picture of, of site site two. number eight. Two. Oh eight, yeah. Site number eight with the trucks and the, and the snow covered bridge PCI is in and doing dirt work and hauling in rock. So there, they should, that's a weird number two that's being displayed on the, on the camera, uh, middle Tarkio there. They're also, Coron's also working on number, number 10, and then they'll work on number nine and hopefully get three which is a smaller job west of College Springs uh, in there sometime yet this fall. I would anticipate next week having some uh, final voucher signatures before the board. Uh, we're continuing to do some project development on our bridges and culverts for, for next year. Although we do have work lined up for next year, we finish it off the base stabilization work that Manassas doing the start of this fall. There's that, there's a bridge on J, J20, the F20 bridge. So that'll, there may be some weirs to finish up next spring. So we're, we're developing projects for the further out years. We are celebrating Thanksgiving on Thursday and Friday. I don't anticipate any uh, any work due to winter weather. So we can uh, be thankful for a walk here and enjoy the benefits of, uh, of the nation. And uh, we have a good year. Despite all the, the chaos with the COVID and all this, we, we're still quite fortunate. We with questions that. for me. No. You get any uh, rear money yet? We're, we're getting it back in. We haven't got it. You know, we're not, we, we sent in a request last week and we haven't got that. This ran in about a month behind. I don't have any more data than what I gave last, yeah, last, last week. week. Yeah, I just wanted to move. They haven't told me that no. we got any more money. But we're, we're, we're keeping track of that. And we reach out to Robert Muir in, in Des Moines, the NRCS guy is, he wants to see something every month and so we give them something every month. How's the rest of the 
tier of counties that are doing these work projects in our direction, how are they doing on time or were we the largest of the projects? I don't know. I know that PCI was in Montgomery County and I think this is the crew okay. that was there. Uh, our neighbor to the east, Taylor County only had two weir projects and they were done pretty quick. In, you know, earlier in the fall, and they they've been paid all that they were authorized. And then Hungry Canyons, as you stated last week, uh, they will settle up when all the work is done. They'll well, we're doing it project by project, okay. which is several sites at a time, and we do have scheduled an inspection, a joint inspection with John Thomas next week. Okay, when do you know when that's going to be? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And to me, that would be a much better, but does it look like there's a road there to you? Uh, is that north yeah, corner? Is that yellow line, is that a road? Or is that just a property line, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see any road access there on the river. You have to come in by boat. <laughs> Kind of weird. Yeah, it looks like it's laying off. And what's what's real weird is the river must have changed course down there because some of the property lines go right out to the middle of the river, and that's unusual, isn't it? John, do usually riverbeds get property lines in the middle? They can't. Okay. I kind of wondered if it maybe changed course at some point in time down there over the years. Right now, if that river goes up, they're probably going to be flooded. Did you see how the railroad line zigs around through there? Yeah. Kind of weird. So do we need to uh, wait till 9.15 or can we talk about that if he calls in, we can... Do you? Well, let's. Okay. So you see the city, well, right? you know, the city owns a piece directly to your right there where the mouse is. That's the city of Braddyville. That's, that's that whole section. That's a Braddyville shop over there. What is that tree, sir? Then? I'm guessing there's trees and brush in there. The only access they can get to that lot is pulling into the city of Brandyville area and driving over there. I don't think he's the one I mean. I, I guess if it was me, I think the city of Brandyville should look at taking ownership yeah, of that. Yeah. Yeah, Tim, this is uh, Chuck Morris with Page County Board of Supervisors, and we're a little ahead on our agenda. Didn't know if you were planning on joining us by Zoom for this discussion, or if uh, you had, uh, if you were going to call me in, or if you were planning to be on. Uh, um, Yeah, and we understand that. And we're looking at the property. It looks like it's landlocked. The only way to get to it is by the river. Uh, of course, yeah, there's only, uh, we don't see any road access anywhere that would get you to that property without you know, going into the river and coming up that way. So that really uh, discourages us from doing anything with that property. So I think we we uh, we can discuss it more if you have any other questions. But looks looks like it's not uh, really suitable for for any purpose. I mean, now, let me ask you: Do you live in Brandonville? I mean, okay. Um, so what? I'm not sure how you would use this land uh, because it's. Uh, I'd say river access only unless you're a good canoeer. Yeah, on the point, well, we're looking to zoom in on that point. We'll try to zoom in a little bit more, but we don't see a road uh, on that. Well, is there a little road? Well, there's a road, but it doesn't go to that all the way to the point. There's a road west of there, but it terminates probably several hundred yards before you get to the property line. Here's the, the road that ends, and here's the, the point of the property line. So you, you would have to go through two groups of properties. Uh, from, and that's, it looks like that's kind of a private drive there. Uh, there, yeah, there's no road access uh, that goes to to that uh, particular property. It's railroad right away, so it wasn't built for 
really active the entire world by that point. So yeah, okay. Well, I'll, if the could uh, yeah, we'll, we'll close the chapter on this and we'll tell the, the, the trader that uh, with no access, you're probably not interested in that particular piece. Is that okay? Okay. All right, well, hope you have a great day. Take care. Yeah, yeah you bet. All right. Um, yeah, he said with no access, he's not interested. So I guess that uh, we're, uh, we don't need to approve that. Do we need to vote? I don't think we do. do we? There's no motion to approve, so I would, uh, I don't. Okay. So anyway, I think maybe on that property, uh, let us know if he phones back. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to send me, and I'll be glad to do some. Yeah, Tim grew up in Shenandoah. I think that's Eddie Blank's boy. Remember Eddie that uh, was had the heart attack a few years ago and about died at his house and was laid in bed for a long time. I don't know if he's still. I think he's in the nursing home, but I'm not Jim sure. Was the one who worked up the I, different, yeah, he lives in Omaha now. No, he lives in Omaha, correct? Or that's and what this is black, not blank. Oh, this is black. Oh, black? Oh, I thought it was blank. No, I thought it was blank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but on the where does he live? He didn't say he oh. didn't live in Brian, so okay. I guess he doesn't live in Page County. Mm. All right, uh, public comment. Let's see, we've got some folks on the line. Any uh, public comment? Folks, for a second. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. All right, uh, we're back online. Sorry you couldn't hear. Uh, the uh, There's no motion to approve the lowering taxes on the uh, property in question. So we're gonna move to public comment. Is there anybody on the line that uh, has any public comment? I see that, uh, uh, let's see. I so saw Chris on there, but. Uh, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there, but. Uh, hopefully next by next week we'll have a uh, FEMA procurement policy to review and to look at. I'm still not ready with that today. So, hearing no public comment, uh, did everybody look at the minutes? Yes. I'll make a motion to uh, approve those. I'll second your motion to approve. Okay, motion has been made and seconded by Herzberg. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs> second it. Okay. All in favor, meeting is over. Thanks for joining us All right. online, and we'll end our meeting now.